nigga faded. You try to play me, cause that's all mine. That's my little baby. What the hell is that, Nash Mafia? We're back with another banger. Yes, we are back again. If you're just now tuning in, don't wait, don't hesitate. Hit that subscribe, like, comment, share, and turn on that bell. Cause we are coming back to back to back with bangers. I'm talking about bangers. You already know what it is. But without further ado, we finna go on getting this video real quick. What we doing today, sweetheart? Had too much coffee today. Yeah. Let's get it. Yeah, never giving you coffee. What we doing today, sweetheart? We are about to look, and I get louder too. We are about to react to another uh, King Mon video. Everybody keep asking. And guess asking. what? You can. We're not like people say. Why are you? Ding, 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 ding. No, nobody said that. Yeah, nobody said that. But us look, <laughs> someone people are asking for this reaction. So what do you want us to do? You want us to not listen to our supporters? We're gonna listen to y'all. Okay? Yep. We're gonna do what y'all want. Can't ask my people to the day we die. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? You heard me? So y'all want us to react to? They said react to King Von, this the soft spoken assassin. Yeah. He also said. They also said the King Von and Asian Brat best moments. They had a lot of other videos to react to. Yeah. Um, so we're going to react to we're gonna it. We're going to react to it. And we're coming with more videos, so don't just... More bangers. Everything. Get some popcorn, chill for a little chill. bit, because we're going to have more And you watch videos. the ads. Funny Mike's going to come. Yep. More NBA, so just chill. More pranks. Just chill. Pranks. It ain't over. Because guess what? Prank was. That's good. All right, you want me to hit it or you? <laughs> Let's get it. Let's go. Oh, what are they doing? What are they throwing up? Oh, Man, shooting inside shooting at building. Six people. Today. <laughs> they have, they were saying that stuff? No, I don't think they will do it all day. It's probably the person that I get the most requests to do a video on. And the rapper I've been rocking with for a while now is King Von. No doubt the most demonic figure that's come out of Chicago since the drill music wave in the 2010s. Fans are really enamored with his storytelling and music videos, but for the life of me, I don't know how King Von is a free man. I mean, bless him. All blessings to him. He's somehow been able to two-see slide and dodge every single case that's been thrown at him since he was 15. At Dang. Rose, Rondo was toting a bazooka on the gram. King Von was on Twitter arguing with a mortal enemy over how many bodies they each got. And this was trolling the fuck out of the police, right? They couldn't stand it. See, in Chicago, only 20% of murders ever get proven. Wait, Eight. he tweeted, said, I'm just ready to kill. <laughs> Percent. It's Go this on give a boy. 20 years for the murders. Plus the gun, that's been lost. That's 21 years. So that's 41 years. That's for the murder. And I got two of 10 murders. And you beat all those charges. You were acquitted. Yeah, I'm gonna play. Now, we're gonna get into all this, but play. before we do, let me show you <laughs> He said so much confidence. This is Battles. Let's go. I ain't been happy in a while. I be staring in the mirror trying to force myself to smile. Can't keep blaming everybody. What is this? Song of the day. Oh, for his video. For who video? I guess the guy's doing the video. Oh, Song of the Day. Okay. Mark song Battles. How? Sure, this is the time I'm a freestyle. I'm gonna go hard in the paint. Tell me what you think. I'm trying to drink. Oh, you know what I mean? Uh, it's that boy, Kenneth Green. Hey, pay me that money. Yeah, because I like to see color green. Yeah. All right, babe. Oh. <laughs> Gotta go to Chicago. More specifically, the Parkway Gardens in the south side. You but you probably know it as Obla. Now, not only is this the oh. home of <laughs> Chief and King Ron, it's also the home of the former First Lady, Michelle Obama, who, when she looks back at her experience, says it was... Hello, Michelle Obla, baby! That's why she married Obama. Had to marry somebody with an O. You know what? I'm fine. I just caught on to that. Never as bad as it is now. The area has oh, always been a huge bad. war between two factions, the BDs and the GDs. And this war has been going back mm. since at least the 90s. But back then, there was more structure, it was organized, and it was mostly a battle over drug trade. The oh. BDs controlled a massive 16-story housing complex just two minutes away from O Block, 
posting snipers on the roof to protect their drug dealers. Lookouts were equipped with night vision goggles. The entire organization was pulling in three hundred thousand dollars a day for damn near fifteen years. The BDs were run like a corporation. Mm. Money was laundered through investments into apartment buildings, a record label called MOB, a car wash, and a nightclub in Atlanta. But the leadership was taken out in two thousand and four with a massive police raid. Their headquarters was mm. permanently closed. Mm. And eventually demolished. Fifty people were charged. Whole leadership oh. gone. All the BDs migrated to Oblock and created alliances with the sets around the area mm. to go against their rival gang, the GDs. the GDs. And the GDs, which stands for Gangster Disciples, also had their leadership taken down. And now neither of the two gangs have any structure anymore, coming from the top to the bottom. It's mm. basically just kids running around with a profound hatred for each other, trying to blow each other's heads off. But this shit escalated even further in the 2010s with Chief Keef and the rise of drill music. Chief Keef, Rondo, Lil Reese, Lil Durk, and most of the people who saw success during the height of the drill scene were all black mm, disciples. So they boys, the yeah. disciples had very. They are black disciples, so they are from the O block. They're yeah, from O block. Gangster the other one. Are the other ones. From the okay. other block. Okay. Little <laughs> representation in mainstream music. Their most notable figures were FBG Duck, Lil J, Lil Jojo. So the fact that Chief Keef from O block were gangster disciples. Gangster mm -hmm. disciples. Able to control the airwaves and the popular sound made it so they could put super disrespectful lyrics towards the gangster disciples in their songs, and it would become mainstream. The best example is. Tuka. Tuka's death became the focal point for a lot of violence because mm. the gang members that killed Tuka then used social media to really insult Talk his about it. In this case, you mm. have this young man actually in his coffin, right. and this image has also been defiled. See, Tuka was a deceased 15 year old boy. He died at 15? No. The Chief Keef and Dirk would constantly mock in their songs. And the lyric became so popular, you. It said he was 15. We had rappers like Lil Pump who had nothing to do with the situation. He's from Miami. You had Young MA who's from New York. And even NLE Chopper who's from Memphis. They would use Tuka in their songs or in everyday life without even knowing what it meant. Like, you recently said some shit about Lil Pump. Mm -hmm. Did he use the, the smoking tuk a lot? Who's that? Tuesday, that's you know, that's FBG Duck. Yeah. Like everything I um, do. But no, when I see you, I'm gonna slap you. Young oh. M.A. said it in, in her verse. And then, and then she apologized for it. And that's all I wanted. See, the hatred between the GDs and the BDs ran so deep. The feud was so strong. So... Tuka must have been gangster disciples then. Yeah. GD. Because We even got does. King Vaughn on video teaching a little kid how to shoot a water gun while saying F Tuka. Hey. Fuck Tuka. Shoot him in his head. Boom. Fuck Tuka. Say it. Oh. Now the death of this kid, Tuka, spawned something that was Man, never before seen. A 17 year old female assassin named Jakaira who created oh, yeah. a social media account dedicated to a she, she was dangerous. She was known to her rivals as somebody who was willing to. Wait, to... she was on GD. I think so, GD. She was with but she, FBG Duck. I think so. And do not care. Shoot first, ask questions later. See? It's all over the internet. Jakaira was on social media bragging about the shootings that she had done. She was proud, and she let everybody know. She was very quick to let you know that she was violent and that she was not afraid to shoot She said her finger trigger itching. Itching. That's crazy. That's crazy. And don't, and she didn't care. You see that she just talk about it. Man, she it was lit. She was responsible for at least 15 shootings before she herself was eventually killed. Afterwards, a 4chan user hacked her Twitter and leaked DMs showing her and King Vaughn had this weird back and forth where King Vaughn was attempting to romance her in like a mocking way. I don't know, maybe it was real. Despite the fact that they were both rival gang members and she didn't like dudes, she liked girls. But reading the tweets <laughs> and listening to his interviews, you could tell King Vaughn is a clever, smooth talker, right? He's smooth, but he's also a goddamn demon. A blood trail seems to follow him wherever he goes. And King Vaughn was becoming an infamous figure in the Chicago PD briefing room. That's all they hated him. Police would bring him in for an armed robbery charge, possession of an illegal firearm, and they had suspicions of other stuff that they could never prove. One murder of a kid named Modell allegedly According to the internet detectives on Reddit, 
has King Von's name written all over it. It happened on a Saturday night where 24 other people were wounded across Chicago, but that wouldn't stop King Von from boasting about Modell's death on Twitter all the time. Now, finally, in 2014, the police thought they had something. Vaughn and one of his friends were at a crowded house party when a rival GD named Malcolm Stuckey was in the corner, mean mugging them. Vaughn and them took offense, immediately left the party, came back 45 minutes later, shooting at the kid Stuckey, who was outside, along with two other people who tried to run. Stuckey was killed, the two others were wounded, and King Vaughn and his friend were snatched up by police a couple of days later. After three and a half years, the trial finally started. It lasted a grand total of five days. Witnesses couldn't be located. Vaughn kept his mouth shut for the whole three years mm. while his friend confessed to doing the shooting. So Vaughn beat the case, went home, and his friend got 28 years. As soon as Vaughn was out, the dude he was always arguing with on Twitter, named Wooski, who's a gangster disciple, and his mortal enemy, was attending a funeral at the Bethlehem Star Baptist Church when all of a sudden, an AK-47 pistol, a.k.a. a Draco, was whipped out Dang. and started spraying into the crowd. Dozens of shots rang off, and Wooski was shot. Now, he survived, and King Vaughn was not responsible for this, but that does not stop him from mocking him. Every His fans are diehards, right? They're crazy. They read into everything he posts, looking for clues. Like, this man posted an Insta story just trying to promote his new music video. And people were reading into how many skulls he put in his caption, like, Seven skulls, that's seven bodies. King Vaughn has seven bodies. It even got to the point where Dude. King Vaughn went seven and bodies. Why are people be doing that? They just overthink things sometimes. Oh my goodness. Ooh, and he put a uh, he put a uh something. I'm trying to think of an emoji. What's an emoji? A X. I don't know. Something like something. that. Oh he killed him, uh, <laughs> They broke up. Uh, like, people be looking for stuff, boy. He himself and said, listen. If the internet was right about the bodies people had, they would be in jail. So don't believe what anyone says. Mm. I repeat, anyone. And I'll be honest, I hope that's true. Bless them. All I know is, listen, in Chicago, the clubs close at like 12, right? It doesn't go past 12 because of the violence. And I know that King Vaughn can't go to Canada to do shows. He can't go to overseas to do shows. Mm. So it's a blessing and a curse, right? Because you know of his history. The clubs got to close oh, at 12 because the... They don't want no violence. Look, King Von confirms he has seven bodies on his ID. Music, but from the, fucks up his business. from the skulls. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Because he can't leave the country. That's pretty much it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Who do you want me to cover next? Make sure you subscribe with notifications on. And I'll see you in the next one. That's crazy. So you beat like six. He beat, I mean, I'm more sure he beat, he beat, he beat a lot of cases. Well, the fact he beat it, you got some people can't beat one. <laughs> they got people can't beat drug charges. My boy, they beat, how many? Murder. Four, what did they say? Attempted murder, murder. Five cases he didn't beat. God oh, damn. I thought it said I'm, I want to know more about that girl. Who? What's her name? Um, oh, the, the, the killer? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They should do. I wonder if they have a story on her. I know. Because she seemed like she was just. She didn't savage. care. Savage. Oh. Who she. I think you did it. Was savage. Uh -huh. Hey. Classic. Okay. <laughs> but then that's funny. She, she was talking to. She was talking to Vine and they. They rivals. <laughs> no, they said that. That's what they didn't understand. Why was Vine messaging her? Mm -hmm. Like trying to. Like. When they, she, he knew she liked women, mm -hmm. so it's like, what are you? Mm -hmm. I like that video. That was very like. It was. It you was were like, 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 oh, oh my god! Goodness. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I, I like that one. That. that was my favorite. I think video. It's it good. Me. If you enjoyed this video, give Get it a, a big, big fat thumbs, thumbs up. up. Comment down below what the reactions. I promise y'all, we're coming with funny mics. Coming with more reactions. Just stay tuned. Stay. Give us um. We're going we gonna to drop them, I promise. We just give us some time, okay? Mm -hmm. But also comment what other reactions, what other pranks, what challenges, what do y'all want to see, more vlogs and things like that. We love y'all. Thank you for continuing to support us and watching us. Mm -hmm. But we'll be back with more videos. Peace. Peace.